Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School. Your Hazen Union Varsity Baseball Boys in action today against the North Country Falcons. You're watching it on HGTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hgtv.us. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Kurt on camera, Mike Baker on the play-by-play. -play. How you doing, Mike? How you doing, Lance? I'm Beautiful Lance. day. It is, and I'm Lance Hall. I'm playing tag along again today. Beautiful day. So, we have the left fielder up here. Yeah, number eight is, uh, I didn't get his first name. The, the scorer knew some of their names. They didn't know them all, but we know his last name is Sanchez. We have Lyle Rooney on the mound That's today. Right. Lyle out there. Lyle pitching really well this year. Came in last night and mercifully for us got the last out of that game so we could go home. <laughs> That was cold. That wind kicked up. And, and it's, while it's nice right now, I got a feeling if this game lasts the full seven, which it probably will, we're going to be cold again. I think, I think that's the case. So looking at the VPM website, it looks like North Country comes in with a record of three and four, if that's okay. correct. Right. We were, we were lamenting how bad it is now, trying to get complete records with this new system they have of scoring and standings and stuff. It yeah, it really was not great. Chase that one high. Sanchez goes down. Do you want to you want to keep it on here? Mike? No, you, you can. Gotta, you gotta, okay. Uh, yeah. Right there. Okay, next up we have the uh, center fielder number 7, Caden Jones. Good start by Rooney there. Yep. We're well organized today, aren't we, Lance? Well, <laughs> we, we try to be, you know. I, I wanted to take the burden off of you to get the lineups because you've done that so far this year. So you get up here early. Lefty Jones up here playing center field. One and one, the count, one out. Game just underway. I don't want to put my phone in there. The last time I did that, I dialed 911 inadvertently. That's the hardest I laughed in a long <laughs> time. <laughs> I still laugh thinking about it. I, and I went back and watched that broadcast several times just, to, <laughs> just for that occasion. I'm just glad Brenda Menard was here to tell me what was going on because I didn't have a clue. <laughs> Chopper, foul. Two and two, your counts. You know what, I've got this written big enough. I think even I can see this without my glasses. <laughs> that one fouled back. Yeah, good swing on that one. Yeah. I was watching. Did he get ahead of it a little bit, or was he just high on it? Yeah, it looked like he was pretty, pretty on it. Just kind of hit the bottom part of the ball a little bit, I think. Works the count full, three and two. There's a solid hit. I fly ball out to Baker. Wind's kind of blowing it around. He gets under it, makes the catch. Jaden Baker gets the second out for the Cats here in the top of the first. Up next, we have Joe Labla, catcher. I wrote these out phon phonetically. That's I do the same thing. Yeah. I do the same thing. When I write mine down, probably half the names aren't spelled correctly, but I can say them the right yeah, way. Right. <laughs> There's one down here at the bottom that I, I don't know, even with the way I read. I'm going to throw my glasses back on and see if I can remember how he told me it went. 0-1, oh you count. To LeBlanc. Another one fouled back. One bounce off yeah, the I was car. Say hit grass. This one here, Mike. We will go over that one a couple times. Yeah, that, that, that one's on you, Lance. Yeah. That one's on I'm you. I'm going to do my best to try and remember that. There's a shot right at Baker. Falls in short. Going to be a base hit. Jade well, just keeping it in front of him at that point. Yeah, well hit ball. 
if he charges that too hard and it goes Gets by him, it's big trouble. Bases, so yeah. probably a good decision there to let it drop. Next up, uh, first baseman number 22, Joe Beloin. Good start for Rooney. It's always interesting to see whether teams are going to be aggressive on the base paths or. You know Hazen's going to be. It. You know that for sure. Let's see what LeBlanc does here. Doesn't have a real big lead out there. Rooney chases him back. Law goes down, standing up. Ball in the dirt there. James keeping it in front initially, but good jump from the runner on not, that one. Not quite as windy today so far. The vortex, it's, a little bit calmer it's today. It's calmed down. It's really beautiful now. Yep. Andrew charges that one. Goes across. Good play from Menard, who's been solid at third the whole season over there. So... Northfield, uh, Northfield, yeah, North Country. Leaves one man on. Brings up the Cats here in the bottom of the first. So leading off for Hazen, playing center field, Jaden Baker. Jaden, a senior this year, one of the many on the Hazen Wildcat yeah. team. Yeah, a lot of senior, a very senior-laden team. What do you, what, what's it looking like for next year once we lose all these yeah, seniors? Yeah, we're going to be young, but, but uh, hopefully a lot of guys come out and play. I was getting that group text about senior day today w with the other parents, and mm. it's hard to believe that's coming soon. It's crazy. And here comes the pitch. Held off on that one. Good eye. And what, I missed the pitcher's name today. Ben West. Ben West. The pitcher today. Yes. Wearing my daughter Joey's favorite number, 13. <laughs> she was not superstitious. No. And of course, on the basketball court, that was our beloved Tristan Southworth's mm. number. Yeah. Three and one, your count. There was a baseball player. Right. There's he he single-handedly pitched them to the finals one year. I think he pitched in every game. I mean, just a great all-around athlete, but was baseball his best sport or would? It was. I think baseball was his favorite sport. He was also, I mean, a really good basketball player yep. and really good soccer player. He excelled at all of them. 3-2 pitch. Cranked it up through underneath the glove. He's going to get one. Just underneath the glove of the second baseman. Good that job. ball was hit. Good job going the other way there. Yeah, solid. Brings up Tyler Revard. And another senior for the Wildcats here. West already having his eyes on Jaden Baker over there. See how uh, North Country defenses the aggressive base running of the right. Wildcats today. Right. So on the VPA site, they were listed in D1. Really, in D1? In the baseball standings. Okay. Sometimes I mean, that fluctuates depending right. on the sport. So I mean, they're a big school up there, a big student body and stuff. Fair ball. Good rip by Revard. Go for three. Baker probably is going to score. Yes. 
Left fielder bobbling out there. Rivard coming in, chugging down into third. He's going to have to get down. Ball gets away. Tyler stays at third, but one run scores as Baker comes in from first on the hit and run. He was running as soon as the as soon as the ball hit the bat. So I couldn't have worked better with him exactly. him on the move and Tyler drilling ball. it down the line yeah, there. Staying fair. Nice piece of hitting. So catch jump up one zip here in the bottom of the first. James Montgomery up, who knows his way around a bat as well. Can put a bat on a ball here. Get Revert at third. Revert in with the triples. That looks like it's going to drop. Looks like it's going to drop. It does. Here comes the throw. It's off. Another run scores. Montgomery at first. Yeah, that one was sort of... A, what was that, like a blooper almost? Blooper, great placement by James though. Lyle Rooney up, no outs. Cats up two zip here early. <laughs> well, there goes my pen, Lance. I got one right here, Mike. Ooh. And if we that one goes down, I have plenty more in the car. <laughs> You're always prepared. Montgomery score uh, slides into second. Yes, indeed. Taught very well by the king. <laughs> the king always prepares us for everybody. Of course, we're talking about the king, Richard Kubeth. Here is, here is Lyle Rooney, who's <laughs> pitching today. Lyle. Straight up shot. That gets through everybody. Center fielder down. James. Spencer sends James home. Throw in. It's going to be close. Wow. 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 So what happened is James Montgomery was thrown out at the plate. The umpire is now um, telling him he's out of the game. I don't know if it's because of the lack of slide, but Spencer Howard questioning it, mm. questioning that call. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it kind of a kind of a baseball play. He didn't really charge into him. But. Right, right. You know, we're not talking Pete Rose and Ray Fossey here. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that at a high school game. A player ejected for not sliding. Andrew talking to West. It could be hockey buddies there, yeah. Andrew and the pitcher. Andrew, of course, um, one of Hazen's hockey players. Play. So Hazen loses a big bat, a pretty solid force behind the plate. Who's their backup catcher? I think they'll probably go to Andrew Menard. Andrew Menard. Would be my guess. Who's at the plate now. And Lyle um, at second base now. Lyle hit that one up the middle. Nice hit. He also homered. Yesterday, oh, well, ripped the home yep, run. Yep. Menard has had a pretty hot bat as of late as well. He has. Good eye by Andrew. So we saw James go by. Is it his choice to go in earlier, or does he have to leave the bench uh, here? Uh, my guess is he has to leave. I'm sure if he could be here, he would be here. When I may have got kicked out of a basketball game, Lance I had me leave the gym. <laughs> yeah, so. Yes, that's true. <laughs> so, that's true. Well, so that was after your second technical, though, Mike. <laughs> Which I was happened to be walking by the scorer's table for both of them. <laughs> uh, Dan DeGrosley are up playing left field today. So we got runners at first and second. Uh, still just one out. Count is 0-1 to DeGrosley. Eh? Hazen's scores jumped ahead. Zip. Yeah. Scores two zips. Jumped so ahead 2-0. to zero. action here in the bottom of the first. And takes a big cut. Uh, 
Dan has set some timely hits this yes. season. West delivers. Strike. And Dan goes down looking. Two outs now. That's going to bring up Jake. Is Jake Davison up. Davison, yes. So maybe maybe he told me Davison here, but he meant Hayden, I guess. We're going to go with that. Jake swung a pretty hot bat this yes. year also. Yeah. Got a big hit last night, I remember. Lays off that one, called strike. 0 oh and 2. Looks like West has kind of settled in here. Two strikes, Jake looking to protect the plate. Nice hit, straight to the second baseman though. It chooses to tag Menard. Yeah, and well, that ends the inning. Well struck by Jake. So a lot of action there was uh, cat score two run. We see catcher James Montgomery get ejected from the game, from the field and everything. Cats leave two on. And uh, we go to the second with uh, Hazen up two zip over the North Country Falcons. All right, back here to start the top of the second inning. We now have Andrew Menard coming in to catch and Jake Hayden going to third base. Lengthy conversation between innings with um, Spencer Howard, Joe Rivard, and the, the um, umpires, I'm sure, regarding James Montgomery's ejection. Seeing what's happening. So we move to the top of the second. Uh, you're watching Hazen Union Wildcat b at baseball. Keep wanting to say basketball. Baseball here on HGTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hgtv.us. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Tate Parker, the shortstop, steps up to the plate, faces Rooney. So... Andrew moves behind the plate. Jake moves out at third. Kind of tough for both those guys. Yeah, you know, you, it's hard. Um, Andrew hasn't caught for a while. He was a solid catcher when he was younger, but he has not caught many innings recently. It's a hard position to jump right it into. It is, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're a total different style of play. Rooney ahead in the count here, one and two. Well, let's hope Lyle can stay on. So all Andrew's got to do is catch strikes. And they don't get too many hits, and you know, yeah, Jake doesn't have make, to really <laughs> make a whole lot of play, a whole lot of plays out there. You know, nice throw good down. Swing. Or a good, uh, good, good introduction throw on the to swing. the inning. Yeah, huh? good, good throw down there on that check swing. Ball in the dirt. Good start by Menard. Ben West, today's pitcher, comes up. That's a second strikeout for Rooney. Coach Rivard moving the defense around a little bit, getting it positioned. Pokes that one foul. Yeah. Count goes to one and two. Strike three. Our next batter is number five. He's playing second best, second base. The uh, score didn't have, didn't know his first name. He knew it was M something, but his last name is Saint Marie. So we'll go up with Mr. St. Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Rooney.
Lee there with his third, third strikeout. Two outs now here in the uh, top of the second. St. Marie squares the bunt, lays down a nice one. Hayden down with it, but mm -hmm. couldn't get across. That was a beautiful bunt. Yeah, that even a perfect throw wouldn't have had him, I don't think, on that. All right, now let's see if I can remember the pronunciation on this one, because the score did. I think it's Delepriere. You know what? Kind of looks like what you yeah. wrote. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to go, we're going to go with number 19. He's the third baseman. It's Caleb Delebriere. We can go with Caleb D. Like a big, strong left-handed hitter yeah. here. Okay. And so St. Marie steal, did he steal second base or went on the pass ball? Pass ball. Okay. Delebriere at the plate. Rooney. Ball in the dirt. Just getting a piece of that. So we have an 0-2 count. Two outs. The pitch. Hit. Over the runner, Tyler down. Uh, Drew Davis off the bag. Did he get? It? But he got it down. Good job by Jake getting that yeah. tag down. Yep. Yeah. Tyler did a good job with the runner jumping in front of him. Right. Yeah. The ball made was right a good there. play and runner made, did a good job. To he did make contact with the ball like that. Good play by by Jake Davison over there getting that tag down on the throw that was a little offline. So we move to the uh, bottom of the second. Cats come up. Now, Mike, what happens, say the runner's advancing like that, and he, he's not able to avoid the ball, and the ball hits him. What um, happens then? Run, runner's out if they're hit on the base path with a really? hit ball. Yep. Uh, yep. I did not know that. Yeah. You don't see it all that often. So that's, that's why he was going to great lengths to avoid yes, it. Yes, yep. Ball, hit, ball hits, well, hits him. He's out, right? Third out of the inning. Okay. <laughs> for uh, being hit huh. with a grounder there. I must say, I had no clue that was what happened. Bottom of the second, the scorcher. Scores that up at the plates. He's just having a great freshman season. Four hit game. Yeah, speaking of, young, you know, we were talking about young talent. Here's one right here. There we go. Shot out into left, drops in for a base hit. Right on cue. Yep. Squarestad with good speed on the bases and Brendan Moody up. Couple of, couple of Speedy Gonzalez imitators right here with these two guys. Yeah, yep. And Moody's been hitting well. He has been. It's been a good pickup this year. First year playing at Hazen. It's pitched well, plays solid second base. Been hitting the ball well. Now, he didn't come here this year for soccer, though, did he? Started with basketball. Does he play soccer? I don't think he played soccer this year. Trying to lay down yeah. the punt. Yep. I could see him up at striker, you know? Yeah, so definitely with some quick. speed up there. So quick and, and agile, you know? Moody not afraid to lay down bunts. Sacrifices and trying to bunt for hits. He's got the speed to beat him out. So Big swing there. One. Drops the count to 0-2. Moody will be looking to protect here. Way outside. One and two. Nice crowd come down from Newport today to cheer on the Falcons. It really is. Yeah. Inside, two and two. I mean, you got a nice straight shot down 91, then you hop on 16 and you're here, you know. Yeah, really nice day for a game. Yeah.
Oh, good eye by Moody laying yeah. off that. Works the count full, three and two. Let's see what West has. West steps off. Moody fouls that one off. Yeah, good, good job by Moody protecting there. Straight at the second baseman. Goes over to second, turns. Oh. Double play. Wow, great job by North Country turning nice defense, that. Yeah. Doubling up two guys is pretty the, good speed. Yeah. Getting down on the on the ground to keep that ground in front of him. Flip to second over to first. Textbook. Now Jaden Baker up trying to get on base here. Jay singled his first time and got driven in by a Tyler Revar triple. That went high. Good job laying off the high one there. Two and two off the foul tip. See if Wes comes in with a fastball or he threw a good curveball early in the count. See what he comes with. Fights it off. Yeah, that was Wes has a really nice curve there. Baker trying to keep the second inning alive here with two outs. Three and two, your counts. <laughs> Max one out right to center field. Center fielder was in pretty good position, had to come in on it, but. Solid hit, but a center fielder right there in position. So at the end of two, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats up over the North Country Falcons by a score of two zip. This is uh, H. Wells. We didn't have a first name. We know his first initial is H. He's the right fielder. Boy, and that and uh, what happened there? He got hit? Apparently hitting him, yeah. Okay. We go back to the top of the, uh, back to the, top of the lineup here with the left fielder, Sanchez as Wells gets hit by the pitch. Sanchez struck out his first time up. Playing left field today for North Country. Wells down. Got him. Nice wow. throw by Andrew Menard to pick off wow. Wells who had a pretty good jump out there. Yeah, yeah. Great play by Menard. Great play, great throw. So the Falcons try to pull a page out of the Wildcats playbook and get a little aggressive out on the bases. And Menard makes the throw. Tyler with the tag. You know, with a backup catcher in there, you knew North Country probably was going to try, try it. it and <laughs> Test him. What a great throw by Andrew down there. Pops that one up a mile behind us. Heard it hit concrete. Nice bounce. Yes.
in the dirt. Three and one. Three and two now to Sanchez. Throw down, Sanchez is out. Two outs now in the third. Have strikeout number four for Rooney there. Brings up number seven, Caden Jones, a center fielder. Caden kind of hit a high towering fly ball out to Jaden Baker That's in right. center field his first time. Looks like he's got some good power here. Yeah, outfield backing up a little bit. Two outs here in the top of the third. Strike for Rooney, makes it one and one. Kind of a pitcher's duel going here. Yeah. Low scoring game to start. Good game. Jones reaches out for that one. Fouls it back, one and two your count. Two and two, a little low. Low and outside. Two outs here in the top of the third inning. Struck him out to end the inning, to end the uh, North Country portion of the inning, that is. We'll drop to the uh, bottom of the third here. Cats up next. All right, bottom of the third. Tyler Rivard up to lead things off today This here in this inning for the Cats. Rivard. That one went up into the stratosphere and into the back. Back, uh, center fielder makes a catch. I lost total track of that ball. I didn't know where it went. But uh, that was to say that was hit high would be an understatement. So we've got Jake Hayden coming in now who moved to third after Andrew moved to catcher after James got ejected there in the bottom of the second for running into the North Country catcher. <laughs> Hayden takes a swing. <laughs> West, Hayden. Call strike two. And they want to check for a check swing strike, but no, I didn't think he came around that much, but umpire appeals down anyway. So we got a count of one and two. Hayden's going to run down as that one gets by the catcher. Throw down to first. Easy out for out number two here in the bottom of the third. And up comes Lyle Rooney. Pitching today with uh, how many strikeouts, Mike? He had one, five. I think he's at five now. He's also singled his first time at bat. There's the dirty ball. There we go. <laughs> Good eye by Rooney yeah. there. The entire Hazen bench sounded like Johnny Most at times. You know? <laughs> Johnny Most was the best. Ah, oh, there was an announcer. I listened to him every night as a kid going to sleep and I would get so wound up and into the games just listening to him. I still go back and Google some of his stuff oh, now yeah. and listen to it. Oh, did he hate Michael Jordan? Uh, 
Well, even like the Detroit Pistons were. Oh, yeah, were another one. Bill Lambier and yes. Rodman and those guys. He was not a fan of those guys. But he was great. He was, oh, was fabulous. Talk yeah. about a homer, like like announcer. Like, yeah. All about yeah. the Celtics. They could do no wrong. And if you read up on his stuff, he had quite a background. He had quite a mill. If I if I remember, I'm doing this from memory. Because I, I I Wikipedia him one time because when I was doing basketball, there was something came up with Johnny Most, and I wanted a little more info than just you know that he was the Celtics announcer. Yeah. Yep. I want to say he had quite a background in the service. Oh, that could be. And I want to say he wrote a very uh, Menard. Sky high. Third outs. And the cats go down in the bottom of the third, still leading two zip. He wrote a very moving poem uh, about veterans and stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to look it up and have it for the next game. There's a lot more to Johnny Most than, than just have a check stole the ball, you know? <laughs> a lot to him. Uh, you're watching Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today are Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hayes Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Kurt on camera, Mike Baker with the call, Lance Hall playing tag along today. Beautiful Good day, Lance, baseball. Hudson Field. Yep. LeBlanc, his first time, that's solid single to center field. That's right, that's the ball that dropped right in front of Jaden. Yeah, he ripped that one. Yeah. Really well hit ball by LeBlanc. Not quite as much haze tonight as it was. This, I guess there's a no. big out of control wildfire out in Alberta, Canada, way out in western Canada. But the way the jet stream's rolling around, it's bringing it right into our area. But no. Last night it looked. It was, weird. Yeah, the sun yeah. was really weird the way that sun was tinting off it. Not so much tonight, at least yet. LeBlanc, another shot out to left. Is that one going to drop? Foul. No, thankfully for Hazen, the yeah. wind blowing it. Just foul. That was hit hit well by LeBlanc. Dan DeGrosier gives chase over there. Dan looking like he's playing a little bit deeper now. I was more say, towards the line. Shade him a little more yeah. left. <laughs> yeah. LeBlanc's got some power. Jaden Baker also moving over. Foul tip back. Count stands at 0-2. Hayes and Union, of course, coming in 7-0 and zero on the season. Go on the road for the next few, correct? Go to, yes, yep. Down the ground, Hayden makes the throw, that's high. They, uh, yeah, two, uh, tough one today. Definitely a challenging game. And then going to Spalding and U32 at the end of the week. Spalding, always a really good baseball yeah. school. And U32 with some good success there. Yeah. Both near the top of the standings I, I saw Barry, today. Barry is a baseball town. Yeah. Tate Parker with a shot to the gap. One run's gonna score. Score said, not coming up with it. Baker tussling over. And with a, and with a double. That was well hit to the gap well there. Hit. Perfect placement. By Boulogne. So now we have number six, Tate Parker, up here in the top of the fourth. And the uh, Falcons have cut this lead to one. Runner at second with nobody out. One and one, you count. Strike 
Good pitch two. by Rooney. Looks like he took a little off on that. Mm -hmm. Rooney ahead in the count, one and two. Looking to get that first out. Revard charges. Makes a throw over to first yeah. in time. Runner advances to third. So Good. potential uh, tying run at third. Go ahead, run at the plate with one out here in the top of the fourth. Good play by Revard there. An opportunity here for Ben West, the pitcher, trying to help his own cause with a runner at third base and only one out. That one's kind of nubbed. That one in. Revard tries to make the grab. Boy. Beloin comes across the plate. We've got a 2-2 games now. That one looked a little bit on in on his hands, but he was able to fight it off to center field just by Revard, who laid out there trying to come up with the play. Looks like we have a pinch runner over there for the pitcher, Joe West, or Ben West. I said Joe West. That was a famous yeah. Major League Baseball Bumble umpire for years. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ben. And ben West with a single and RBI. Pitching well today in this game. Been hitting well. St. Marie up. Baker in on that one. Runners at first and second. Still just one out here. And up strolls Caleb Delabrere. Another one that Baker couldn't charge too hard because if no. he doesn't come up with it, it's by him. And it's big trouble. But first and second here now for North Country with Falcons Bats coming alive yeah. in this inning. One out. Wells on deck. Delabrere. I'll probably pronounce it a different way every time. <laughs> but I'm going to go with that. Reaches for that one. And if I get too unconfident, I'll just call him Caleb D. <laughs> Hazen could really use a strikeout or double play ball here. Get out of this inning. North Country some have, having some good swings now against yeah. Rooney. It's a lot tougher the second time around, you sure know, for is, a pitcher. Yeah. Yeah. Batters have seen you once. Pokes that one. Rooney makes the play for the second out. And H. Wells, the right fielder, comes up to the plate now with two outs. Men on first and second. We got a 2 2 ball game here. Wells was hit by a pitch his first time. Playing right field today. Runners are going to advance. That one getting by Menard. Hustles back to, to get it. But second and third now. Two runners in scoring position for Wells. All Wells has got to do is get his bat on it a little bit. Uh, I don't know, everybody playing pretty much straight away. But still a little blooper. He's going to score. Goes foul. Bloops it out past the infield and in front of the outfield. One and one, you count. Make it one and two. Nice pitch. Rooney would love a strikeout here to get out of this inning. That's a high pop-up. Revard camps out underneath it. 
three outs, so the North Country managed to have the ball game, put two runs on the board. But uh, Hazen sort of avoided one there with two runners in scoring position at the end of that inning. With two yeah, it could have been worse, that's for sure. So we move to the bottom of the fourth. Cats, see what the Cats can come back with here against these North Country Falcons. Stepping in for Hazen, Dan DeGroslier, in a game that's now tied two to two. Ben West fires high on that one. I'm talking about players who had to hold an off-season job because they didn't make enough money, you know? Dan looking to get on base here to start the Wildcats. Bottom of the fourth inning here. All right, I'll climb down off my soapbox now. Big swing from Dan. Another big swing. Coach Rivera down there giving some instruction to Dan about his swing. Change that one way high. Comes Jake Davison. Davison trying to go the other way there. Davison had a couple games there where he was getting hit after hit up the middle. Could use a good solid shot here. Remember right, he hit, hit it hard his first time, but not quite able to get on. Strike three, it's like two outs. And Owen, what's his the nickname? The Scorcher. The Scorcher. He had a solid single to left yeah, earlier. Yeah, scorched one. Right out there. Owen lays off to high fastball. Brendan Moody waits on deck for the Wildcats. Two and one, two outs, bottom of the fourth. Tie ball game. Good ball game today. That pitch high. I would say since, and he strikes him out. So he missed oh, no. for ball four. Ball four, okay, I thought I, thought I saw strike three. Um, I would say of the two, West has been slightly more consistent pitching so far today. Lyle kind of struggled that last inning a little bit, whereas West is, other than the bottom of the first. And Brendan Moody. Brendan hit a shot his first time, but it was right at the second baseman. North Country turned a turned nice double, double play. play. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful double play. Yeah, nice double play. Which was hard to do with Scorstad and Moody running two yeah. quick guys. We keep Scorstead back at first. Two and two count here. Falcons cheering on their pitcher. Scorstead, first baseman gives chase, loses his footing. 
Did it hit him? Those are hard, kind of yeah. over your head, wind blowing a little bit. Good effort over Trying here. Trying to move back. Good job by Moody protecting. Yeah. Joe Beloin on first base. Ball down, Scorstead's gonna go to second. Yep, good heads up running by Scorstead on the pitch that got away. Now in scoring position for Moody. Gorsted's going to score. Moody in with a single. Nice piece of hitting there with two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Yeah. He had two strikes on him too, correct? Two strikes. He fought back in the count. He Nice hit to the gap in there between right and center. Great job going the other way by Moody. Cast back up 3-2. Brings back the top of the lineup. Jaden Baker. Baker. Baker calls time. Looks over to Spencer. Umpire getting the pitcher and batter set there. Baker, oh, what a bunt. Super bunt. Ball gets by Beloin. Moody to third. Good job. Classic, classic bunt right there. Yeah. Put it in a tough spot, used his speed. Brings up Rivard. Little two out rally here for the catch. We saw him do a lot of stuff with two outs last night as well. Man, Tyler and Jaden, two seniors. Two guys that have been through a lot together, they have. having a conversation about the next play here, a little strategy. Tyler's hit it hard both times, triple driving in Jaden early in the game and a high deep fly to center field. Yeah, that ball was hit a ton. And, and that was a good catch out there by Jones out in center field. Yeah, he had quite a while to think about that one as it was coming down. First and third for the Wildcats, trying for some more two out runs here. Bounces in front of him. Good eye by Rivard there. Gets ahead in the count, 2 and all. Looks like first and third with two outs here. At this point, Baker's electing to not go with it with two outs already in the inning. And Rivard hitting. The way he's hit. Stay fair. Dead. Stayed fair. Tyler took a big turn. Jaden held up at second. I think Tyler was thinking a double yeah. two. Jaden so. Jaden went on that. He was yeah. dead meat with that ball in shallow yeah. left field. No way he could have gone on that. So Moody comes in, makes it a 4-2 game. So Cats build up to that two-run lead once again here in the bottom of the fourth. Brings up uh, Jake Hayden. Two runs with two outs, Lance. That's huge. Absolutely. And I would say Baker and Rivard are going to look to be aggressive on the bases here. And there they, there they go. Baker in there safely under the tag. Runners at second and third now. All Jake's got to do is put a bat on the ball. You hear, you hear Joe telling him they're just that. Just put it in play. Yeah. 
they strike two. Jake Hayden, a freshman here at bat. And strikes him out on a call third. A nice curve ball by. Yeah, beautiful curve by West. By West. So we end the fourth though with the Cats putting two runs on with two outs to build their lead back up. We got a 4-2 ball game here. Okay, we, we're back for the top of the fifth inning and leading off for North Country is their leadoff hitter. Sanchez, Sanchez yep, playing and, left field. And uh, that was big by Hazen to come up yep. with those two runs in the Give bottom Lyle half a little, of the, a little breathing room here. Yeah. He struggled a little bit in that last inning, so you know maybe now he can just settle in and and, and pitch. Yeah, yeah, that was huge, in my opinion, for yeah. to come back and get those two. Battle back. Sanchez, strike two. Foul tip. Keeps the at bat alive for Sanchez. And this is pretty heat key for Hazen too, after scoring these two runs to come back and have North Country put a zero on the board yeah, it'd be here. Nice to have like a one, two, three inning, yeah. you know, make some quick work for Lyle and Andrew, nice job keeping that one in front of him. Looks like a pretty good pitch from Lyle there. Curveball. Rooney struck out five today. How about we make it six? Great start to the inning. That's what we need. Caden Jones up next. And he's flown to center and struck out today. Now, do you have your own way of scoring this, or are you uh, your own abbreviation? You know, I'm not, the doing the, I'm not doing the official scoring <laughs> on here. I'm writing stuff that I can Jones, read. nice rip to center. Yep, solid hit to center field out there. Joe LeBlanc up. He is a had an RBI earlier today. He's been pretty solid behind the plate he as has, well he for has, the Falcons. He's done a really good job. We'll see if Sanchez is aggressive over here at first on first base. We've seen Andrew make one nice throw. Let's see if he can make another nice. one. Tyler down, oh. ball gets away. Oh. That was a good throw by Menard. It's like the Sanchez just, I can't tell if he's hurt, got a mouthful of dust or just trying to hang on. Him and Tyler had a little bit of a collision out there. Tyler's pretty solid. That was a delayed steal by Sanchez. He didn't go right away, but. Northfield coach out to check on him. I mean, Andrew making a decent throw down there. That was a good Thought, throw. You know, Tyler tried to come down with it, just didn't quite happen. Yeah, that was a strong throw from Menard. So runner on second now for the Falcons. LeBlanc still at bat. LeBlanc. It's in the gap. Baker Jay hustling over. Tag up, nice throw in. Wow. Just a tad off or else he might have been out. That was a rainbow of a throw. By Baker over to third. Reminds me of some of the throws Dave Parker used to make in from the outfield <laughs> for the old Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, looks like. What do we have happen here? I don't. Hidden ball? I'm not sure what. I was kind of, kind of missed yeah, that. Kinda. Anybody else see what happened? Whatever happened. Third out. You know, it could have been Lance. I missed it, but it could have been 
they appealed that the runner left second base too early. Okay, uh, didn't tag up didn't or something? Or, or didn't tag up or left too early on the okay. tag up and was called out is likely what happened. If I had to guess. Okay. I have to admit I was looking at my yeah, paper here I, writing I, on know, it. I saw so the, I, the boys suddenly charging off the field and, and uh, the umpires went into a little huddle out there and well, irregardless, that ended the inning. And we'll move to the bottom of the fifth now. So you got a little bit of a ruling back? So I got a little bit of a ruling while I was writing on my paper. It yeah, does sound like um, third base, the, the third baseman for us still had the ball, or what, Revard, one of them still had the ball, either, or either Jake or Revard, and the guy um, stepped off the base. We got the tag on him. There was a little bit of debate whether... The pitcher was on the rubber, not on the rubber, whether time had been called or not been called by the umpire. But the end result is was a third out there. So sort so, of the old hidden ball. Chuck. Yeah, yeah, or just or hold, just, just holding the ball right. until it. it yeah. But I uh, wish I had seen that. That's probably a poor explanation. It's hard when you don't see it. But yeah. that sounded like Yeah, I didn't really see happened. it either. I mean, it looked like, you know, the runner went in. And so I was sort of, you know, looking away to, you know, down to see who was coming up next. And. That kind of right. keep your eye on the ball, right? Yeah, <laughs> and good heads up baseball from Hazen. Seeing a little bit of everything today, we Lance. Are. We are. Lyle Rooney coming up next. Bottom of the fifth already. Yeah. Kind of moving right along. It here. is. I'll still miss Alice, but that's okay. <laughs> that's what the 11 o'clock broadcast <laughs> is for. <laughs> Actually, on channel 31, they come on at 10. <laughs> Lyle Rooney up. Lyle's been on base twice with a single and a walk. So what's for dinner at the Hall household tonight? Any Boy, ideas? tonight I don't have the slightest idea. Jamie had to run some errands uh, after she got home, and of course I left early to come down here. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Tonight maybe the chicken noodle soup. Maybe it might be. Uh -huh. Maybe a sandwich. I don't know. She may whip up something. <laughs> Hard saying. I'll find out when I get home. And it's just like being at home. I'm told to eat what I, you know. No, oh, good rip by Rooney. Shortstop bobbles. That, that was a uh, hard hit ball that uh, Parker did a good job just keeping down in yeah. front of him. And, and if that goes through, Rooney's got two at least. That was a great pick over there by yeah. Parker. How about you? What are you thinking for supper tonight? Well, I've got to go to Morrisville tonight, okay. run an errand, so. Might visit, visit those golden arches over there. <laughs> we'll Good. see what happens. Menard up. Yes, the golden arches. And Andrew reached on a walk his first time and then um, popped to third. Runner goes. Rooney into second. So 2-0 oh count to Bernard, no outs. Rooney now advances to second. <laughs> Trying to think if I'm even hungry for anything right now. And I haven't eaten much today. I had some really good, really good lunch at Hardwick Elementary School. I they do excellent lunches there. Had some beef stew and a chicken fajita. Nice. fajita. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they do a great job down there. Yep. Strike uh, strike one, two and one counts. It's hard where my office and the gym is. I smell that you stuff all cooking right all day, there. all yeah. day long. Right from the get-go. What I find amazing in, in school nowadays, of course, coming from my era, and I think it's a great thing, is the fact that so many schools are offering breakfast now as well. Yeah, it's a really good thing. When I went to school, you know, it was like, you know, you got a chocolate milk in the morning, and that was about it, yeah. you know. No, it's a really good thing. Definitely a good program. Which uh, 
two and two, you're counting Menard. Three and two, which wasn't, you know, which, which didn't really work well for me because I would sleep in until the last minute, so I wouldn't really eat breakfast. <laughs> so before lunch, I was too hungry to really concentrate on my classes. Then I'd go to lunch, and a lot of times I would eat two lunches because I was starved. Oh, yeah. Then I'd be so full, I'd have to take a nap afterwards. Menard goes down to first on the walk, so runners at first and third. Second walk for Andrew today. Dan DeGrosley are up next. Nobody out here for Hazen. Trying to tack on some more runs here to extend that lead. Dan squares. squares. Those are kind of hard to bunt, those high, hard ones, yeah. you know, coming in at you. Dan did a good job getting the bat on it. Trying no to advance uh, those runners to second and third. Runners stay. Thought about going. If we get a, if Rooney kind of clapping his hands out there, thinking, yeah. you know, maybe I should have gone on that one. we get a moment here, I'll share one of my most embarrassing cafeteria stories <laughs> ever. Ever. Die by Dan on that one. One, two strikes, Dan will be looking to swing away and not bunt. And big swing there on the high fastball. And up comes Jake Davison. Well, I remember that day for lunch. We, I, I can remember vividly what we had for lunch that day. It was a beef and bacon patty, mashed potatoes, green beans, and a piece of cake with, like, whipped cream on it for, <laughs> for dessert. You know, like a shortcake type thing. And I was following one of my friends through the cafeteria, and the cafeteria was packed. And you know how loud cafeterias can be when they're packed, right? Oh, yeah, they get, yeah. Get loud, deafening, <laughs> deafening. Jake, yeah. beautiful punt. Good job by Jake. Gonna come back home. Nobody there. Rooney, Rooney running all the way. Great heads up yeah. base running by yes. Rooney there. Perfect bunt laid down. And Rooney able to, Rooney able to go two bases. Now more controversy here. West going back, chatting yeah. with Andrew. Of course, we know they're hockey buddies. <laughs> North Country trying to trying to steal it out there. Wow. West looks back at Andrew. So we got two outs. The Scorcher up. Menard on second. Cats put another run on the board. 5-2. And Owen's been on base twice with a single and a no, walk. You know this umpire behind the plate? What's this is Peter Wright. He He's been a kind of a take charge guy out there today. From the get-go. He's umpired a lot of baseball games. I've seen seen him in a lot of them. He's I was going to say, he's nothing really rattles him. You know, you've uh, seen right. some emotions down there. And he's, you know, like, look, calm down, calm down. I'm going to talk. Yeah. And he's refed a lot of my JV basketball games, moved up to varsity. Huh. I've heard that he was St. J Academy boys baseball coach for quite a long time in the past. Okay. So. Has he ever teed you up in basketball? He is not. He's not one. Of, he's not <laughs> one of them. You know. That, that, I, that only happened once. Right? I've that only, the only got time you got teed up. I only with those two. I only got th that those two and then one this year. So three in over three and over twenty years. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. That's not bad, I would say. Yeah. I'm not saying I didn't deserve more, but uh, uh, but uh. I would say on the second one, the night you got the two, the second one was a little bit of a bum rap on you. But look, it made first, you a legend. 
Well, the first one I deserved. I, yeah. The second one was a little Yeah, rough. that was a little ticky-tack. Yeah. But, but it made you a legend. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you became a man. You became a man. You became a man. <laughs> oh, that was such an interesting game. I walked out of the gym, looked, it was. At, looked at John Sperry there, and I'm like, sorry, John. And Aaron Hill took over, the varsity yeah. coach, for a while. And yeah, it was a great finish. When he, when he had to go and talk to the guys for the fourth quarter, Aaron got Adam Gann right, in there, man. who's been one of the assistants here. Yeah. So... Three oh, yeah. coaches in one game, but some good lineage there. It was a good, very good win and that night. Remember, you guys came back and won the game. Very good against Lake Region. Yep. And he struck out Scorsted there to end the inning. So the Cats put one more on the board, 5 2. So we'll go up to the sixth inning next and uh, see what North Country's got to do to answer back. Yes. All right, top of the sixth. Joe Beloin up. Hayes and Wildcat baseball here on HCTV, channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. The sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes and Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Great game here today at Hudson Fields. The North Country Falcons coming down from Newport, giving us a good game here. Hazen got up to 2-0 lead. Uh, North Country closed, uh, made it 2-2 for a while, and we went up 4-2. Now it stands at 5-2 here at the top of the sixth. Lyle Rooney still on the mound for the Cats. I think he was at six strikeouts today. Two and two, your counts. High, ball three. Full count for Rooney to Boulogne. Boulogne, foul. So, as I was saying in that last inning, Mike, I'm going across the cafeteria with my tray of food, which I remember vividly. A buddy in front of me steps over a chair with his tray, gets across it. So I figure I'm going to do the same with mine. My back foot catches on the chair. Okay? <laughs> and I'm going to go down because my front foot is way out in front of me. And as I'm going down, I had visions of my face going into this perfect scoop of mashed potatoes on my tray. I didn't want that to happen. <clears throat> so I threw my tray ahead of me. <laughs> and it came down with a loud crash. <laughs> now again, you notice how, you remember I, I alluded to how deafening a cafeteria Oh yeah. Be. Instant silence. <laughs> you could have heard a pin drop <laughs> in that cafeteria when that tray came uh. down as Beloyne takes his Takes first on watch. Oh. And everyone kind of looks to see what happens. Of course, I'm laying on my belly on the cafeteria floor with my tray out ahead of me. And my food is now gone everywhere. And then the laughter begins, <laughs> loud and long. <laughs> so I'm thinking, what am I going to do? So I did whatever I could do. You know, I got up, I took a bow. <laughs> Dan Hudson came over and helped me put my food back on my tray. <laughs> I said, Dan, how's my face? He says, very red. I said, Okay. Let me let me ask you: Did they give you new food, or they did you have they, to? Did the, you have to eat that? The lunch ladies graciously gave me because <laughs> I, I know there's a five second rule, but I was not going to eat what was coming off that cafeteria room floor because it was carpeting back then. No way. They gave me another lunch. I did not step over the chair, and I went back and ate my lunch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great. Oh, the perils of youth. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> what can you do but take a bow and give a wave and? Yep. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> oh, we have Tate Parker stepping in. Parker's made some great plays at short today. On some really hot shots hitting over to him. One of the last ones he came up with. Yeah. I don't know how. Well, he, he didn't make the play, but he kept it in front of him, yeah. you know. 
Beloin on first. See if the Cavalcans try to get aggressive here. Trailing by three in the sixth. Good job by Andrew Menard there, keeping it in the vicinity, preventing the runner from advancing. Beloin getting a little bit of a lead, but he's not looking like he really wants to go. Yeah, North Country's had a couple of steals where they've kind of delayed it. Mm -hmm. Kind of when Andrew was in his motion, throwing it back to Lyle, then they take off, kind of trying to catch Hazen by surprise. There he goes. There he goes. Andrew up, throw down. Beloin in. Still a nice throw. It was a good throw by Andrew. Beloin had a nice jump. Runner at second now, count stands at two and one. Hi. Full count here. Ben West up. On deck. Struck him out. Big strike out there for Rooney. Yes. How many is it? Six, uh, six or seven today now? Seven. I believe we, he had seven in the last time. Uh, he had six the last time. I believe he's up to seven. You are incredible. <laughs> that, that Being able to remember I that. I just stuff. remember just, saying, just, we were talking about how many strikeouts he had. We had five, and then he struck the guy, and I said, let's make it six. <laughs> so. Ben West, the pitcher, up. He singled and drove one in his last time at bat. Strike two. Good job by Number Rooney working count. ahead here. West chops it out, foul. High, one and two. Big Chases swing. that one high. Big swing by West. Eighth strikeout for Rooney on the day. And Here is uh, M. St. Marie. I believe he's, if I can read my scratchy writing here, he got an infield hit and singled to center last time. Fouls that one back. Oh, and one, you count. Runner goes. So Beloin moves to third with two outs. St. Maria will be looking to get his bat on the ball with two outs and keep the inning alive and drive in Beloin to cut the lead a little bit here. And he does with a shot out into uh, right center. Beloin comes in standing up. And St. Marie is on first, and that makes it 5-3. So two-run game now, the Cats. Yeah, good two piece outs. of hitting there going with it to right field. Excellent. Very loud car over in the parking yeah. lot. <laughs> Folks, that's what you get when you soup up your mom's sewing machine. <laughs> All right. We All have right. Uh, this is G. Wells coming in. This is a sub, number three, G. Wells coming in to hit. That's a strike. Looks like he's coming in in uh, Caleb uh, Delabrere. Okay. Spot. Because we had St. Marie just up. Wells takes a 
ball. Count it one and one. Two outs. Top of the sixth. Throw over to first. Oh. Runner advances. Not good, Mike. <laughs> Let's see. All right. 1-1 one, one count. Two outs. Rooney sets. Flyers. Strike two. That is good. Strikeout here would really help. Really good job by Wells staying alive on that tough pitch by um, Rooney there. Runner off, pitch outside. It's the St. Marie. One more base, closer. Two, two, you count, two outs. Rooney, ball three. Wells really making Rooney work here. Three, two, count. Let's see what Lyle's got. Right there to Moody, over to Davison for the third out. And the Wildcats avoid a little bit of, I don't, I don't know if you'd call it a disaster, but it was looking perilous there for a few moments. Two run lead is a lot, mm -hmm. lot better than one. Yes. So we're gonna drop to the bottom of the sixth. Cats will come up next. Here we go with Brendan Moody leading off the bottom of the six. Or a country coach. I think talking to umpire Peter Wright, maybe about a defensive replacement he made between innings. Yeah, I could say we got to see what happens here. Brendan Moody today has grounded into a double play and then he hit a Hard single out to right field, driving in a run. See what he does here to lead off the bottom of the six. Cats up 5-3. A couple more runs, one or two more runs would be huge. Yes. I agree, spectacular, because North Country uh, battles. They do. They battled and are still battling. West staying in to pitch. <laughs> I'd say he's pitched a pretty good ball game. Oh, sure has. Hazen's had a lot of games this year where they've scored a lot of runs, yeah. but. Yeah, to hold us to five, I'd say he's doing pretty good. Yeah. Good eye by Moody there. I mean, and I'm thinking apart from Tyler's big triple, it's been mostly, you know, singles, maybe a double. Yeah, yep. A lot of singles and just aggressive base running. And, and timely hitting. Right. But, uh, you know, he hasn't given up other than, like I said, other than Tyler's two shots. There's Moody to the shortstop. Across the mound, across the uh, diamond. Yeah, nice play there by their shortstop. Tate, Tate Parker. Yeah. Showing a big arm there. Back to the top of the order. See what Jaden Baker can do. Jaden singled and scored. He's flown to center and had a bunt single his last time. That bunt last time was terrific. He'll be swinging away here. Looking to get on base with Tyler Rivard on deck.
Nice hit. Right Jamie to the gap. That to the gap. He'll get at least two, maybe three. Ball still rolling back there. He's going to dig in for three. He's going to get three. And just as I talk about how West hasn't given up the big hit, he gives up a big hit. That was a nice shot by uh, Jaden Baker. Good job by Baker getting on base and scoring position for Revart. One out. Will we see, Mike, a steal of home? <laughs> <laughs> I would say with Tyler up here, there's not going to be any silly no, base running. No really need to. With a good hitter like Tyler. But that would catch everybody by surprise. It would. It would. LeBlanc out to talk to West. And like we were talking about earlier, one more insurance run would be huge here yeah. for the Wildcats. Rebar takes strike one. LeBlanc back out to talk to West again. Want to make sure they're on the same page as Revard up here. Yep. Pitcher kind of looking over at Baker at third, getting a big lead. There he and goes, hit and run. Baker scores. There's our insurance run you wanted, Mike, as Revard yeah, reaches big. base. Another, another hit from Revard today, another RBI. Two seniors kind of yeah. getting it done here in the, the bottom of the sixth inning. Jake Hayden up. Went down uh, looking last time he was up. Jake, one of the freshmen, thinking about the Hazen future here. The future of Hazen baseball. Rebard back. You know Tyler wants to run. We do. There goes Revard. Foul ball yeah. up off umpire Peter Wright. Yeah. That'll leave a mark. A little bit of a stinger. Bet. Yeah, it had to hurt. Looks like Hayden looking to try to bunt Revard over here. <laughs> oh, the Hazen bench. Oh, those guys. <laughs> I think everybody in East Hardwick just heard that call. Revards goes. Hey, swings. Ball down. Revards in. Job We're going to have two strikes on Jake. But uh, Revard now at second. Job by Revard getting scoring position. So 0 and 2 you count, one out. Revard at second, Hayden at bat. Lyle Rooney on deck. Here goes Revard into third as Jake goes down looking once again. Good job by Revard getting over to third. More aggressive Hazen base running. Yep, Lyle Rooney. 
Lyles has been on base every time today. Three times on base, single walk, and an infield hit. Helping his cause. See if they bring him out here for the seventh. Two outs, man on third. That one's high. <laughs> oh, wow. And yeah, and Hazen's aggressive base running. Rebar yeah, drawing a throw over there. Ball gets thrown away and... Cats put another run up on the board. So 7-3 yeah. now. With two outs. Lyle trying to start a rally all over again here. Lyles had such a solid baseball career here at Hazen. Sure has. All around good player, great pitcher. Take strike one from West. Outside. Inside. Three and one. See Lyle maybe picking a pitch here in a certain area. Kind of the advantage when you get ahead in the count, you can look for the one that you want. Good at bat by Lyle. Draws the walk. Lyle. Menard up next. Four times on base for him today and pitching a great game. I'd say that's a solid afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon's work. Andrew's taken two walks today, reached base a couple times. One thing about this Hazen team, Lance, they have pretty good eyes, you know. They don't yeah. swing at a lot of yeah. pitches out of the, very disciplined. My guess is Lyle will try to be aggressive here and uh, go across. Go across. But we'll see what happens. P pitcher giving him a long look over there. Rooney back in. Counted two and two. I saw all kinds of lights flashing over there a couple minutes ago on the scoreboard. <laughs> I think when it all settled down, we got two and two with two outs. <laughs> oh, no, they're gonna, now it's changing again. All right, we see what we have here. Uh, apparently one it's now one, one and two. One. Right? It's like what I'm saying, one and two? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Need binoculars. <laughs> but just when you think you know it, it changes. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. it. Says one and one now. One and one, yeah. With okay. two outs. But one and one with two outs. <laughs> Let me put my glasses on, then I can really see. Okay. Rooney yeah. goes. Yeah. Foul back. Yeah, good swing by Andrew too. Fouling and that fouling it straight back. So Mike, is the count now one and two? I would say it's the count is now one, one and, two. and two. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we, we had to count at one and two for the last five fishes. <laughs> we'll see yeah. what happens here. Yeah. We know there's two outs. Good eye by Andrew. Menard laying off the low outside pitch. Now it's all twos again up there, Lance, so yeah. we'll see what. 
see where we're right at. Right back where we started. <laughs> two and two with two outs. <laughs> Rooney goes. But Iron Chopper. Tate down, throws across. Got him. So at the end of six, Cats are up 7-3, and we're going to do a battery change. So Tyler in here in the seventh as Rooney goes to, what, where, where, where did Lyle go? Second? Shortstop. So how many how many official was it? Eight strikeouts. Eight strikeouts. Well, I had a great game. And I don't know how four, official it is for, for for my no, it's unofficial as it gets. The same way with me <laughs> keep, <laughs> keeping any type of point system in basketball. But yeah, uh, yeah good outing for for Lyle today. We have uh, Wells up. Yep, Wells up the right fielder. But yeah, Lyle definitely another three runs and in six innings, yeah. eight strikeouts. Really yeah. solid day. Once again, you're watching Hazen Varsity Baseball here on HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Kurt on camera. Mike Baker with the play-by-play. -play. Lance Hall playing tag-along today. <laughs> It's been a good day for baseball, yeah, It's Lance. been a great game. Well I played mean, game, beautiful day. Yeah. I mean, score 7-3, but it's been closer than that. Uh, you know, North Country's you know, put on a pretty good performance here today. The Wildcats, of course, looking to keep that undefeated streak going. Wells. My ball. Dan coming in. Makes the grab. Looking up into the sun. That was a tough catch. That was a good right play by eyes. Dan, the girls are out there. Good play. So we're back, uh, what is this now, number nine. This is L Cross. Another sub in. Uh, batting in Sanchez's place because we would have gone back to the top of the order. So this is L Cross. And Mike, I figured if, if Jamie doesn't have anything ready, I think I figured out what I'm going to have for supper tonight. What's the plan tonight? If she doesn't have anything ready, I'm going to go with grilled cheese. Oh, well, there you go. I have made my decision. You know, grilled cheese can be it's comfort be food. Good, yeah. yeah. So my boys head to their grandmother's house, my mom's, after grilled cheese. There's something about grandma's grilled cheese mm -hmm. that they all want to come over and have yeah. something she does to it. I don't know. <laughs> it's made with love. Made, it w <laughs> made with love. That's the difference. <laughs> yeah, and lots of butter. Lots of butter, too, probably. Butter and extra cheese, I'm sure, help. L Cross draws the walk as the Falcons are down to the last two outs to try and get back into this one. Trailing 7 3. Caden Jones, the center fielder, up. <coughs> And Caden single to center his last time up. Once again, Tyler Revard on the mound for the Cats. Lyle went six full innings. Pitched well. There's a wow. big hit. That is a shot, Lance. Yeah. That one's roll, still rolling. I think we're looking at a home run here. Yeah, there's. You'd have to have a cannon back there. And just like that, it's 7-5. As uh, Caden Jones smacks one hard. Makes it so important right. that we get those two insurance yeah. runs the last inning. Big time. One out. That ball was hit. That was, that was, that was hit that hard. Was, yeah. He to say he got all of that would be an understatement. And then it rolled forever. It did. Back there. Which is indicative of the field drying out, because if that would have happened earlier in the week, it would have kinda would have stuck. <laughs> right. So we got Joe LeBlanc, center uh, catcher. He reached twice earlier this game on a single and an error. So true uh, meat of the lineup here. In the seventh, Hayden boots that one. Gets up, comes across. Davison makes the catch, but he's safe. Nice play by Hayden to keep it down. Go, 
as LeBlanc makes it to the first base. Or, yeah, and this is uh, Joe Beloin up now. Beloin's doubled earlier and walked. North Country coach out talking to Peter Wright. I wonder what about. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, Lance. Yeah. Long conversation. All right, Boulogne at the plates. LeBlanc on first. Nice to see us turn a double play here and end it. LeBlanc dives back down. One out here, top of the seventh. I went inside. There's a strike. Runner goes. Ball by. Runner's going to stay. As Jaden was right there to back him up. Another one of those delayed steals yep. for North Country. So that takes away a double play. Double play and a force at second. Two and one. High again. Three and one. Boulogne showing some discipline and patience here now. Yes. Working the count. Draws the walk. Tate Parker up, runners at first and second now. Uh, tying run on base for North Country now. Go ahead at the plates. Tate Parker, who's had a solid day at shortstop. Coach Spencer Howard out. A little bit of drama here on the diamond at Hudson Fields. Encouragement from Coach Spencer Howard, who's done a great job here. Yes, he has. Hayes and fans cheering their team on, trying to pump Tyler up a little bit. All right, Parker steps in. One out, runners on first and second. Uh, that one looked pretty good, Lance. Yeah. I'm not sure where it missed, but looked pretty good from Revert. Yeah, I couldn't tell from here. Maybe a tad low. I, I couldn't really tell. Looked good. I went into the dirt, one and one. Ben West, pitcher for the Falcons on deck. Parker pokes one out. Rooney up with the throw. Rooney. Goes to second. Turn, throw down. Not in time, but we've got one out. That was a really nice play by Rooney there over there. That just shows how complete a player Lyle is. You know, that comes off the mound after pitching. Goes out there and makes a really good play at short. And that throw from short second to inning. second when you're off balance like that, that's yeah. a tough throw. 
Ben West at the plate. Two outs now. So Runners at the corners. He's an infield in to talk a little strategy. My guess is if the runner at first base goes where they're throwing down, if they're, if they're letting him take second if they have some sort of other play on. And if you're North Country here now with two outs, I don't know if you want to steal or not because you get yeah. thrown out at second, that ends the game. So. Right. Ben West up, he's struck out twice with a single in between and pitched a really good game for North Country today. Takes a strike. And as a pitcher now, you're trying to ignore the runners. Just need that one out to finish the game. Concentrate on the guy at the plate. Scores to... You know, I was almost gonna ask that. What, 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 why would you bunt in this? Yeah. That. You know, trying to maybe a, trying to squeeze and trying to put one down the third base line and catch catch guys oh, off guard or oh, put one down yeah. the first base line. A little risky, if you ask me. With two, with with one out, yeah. With two, I. Uh, well, I I agree. It is risky. A little I risky play. Yeah. And that's strike three. Right, ball game. That is. West didn't look real happy with Peter Wright's call. Kind of flips his bat, but good catch. Cats get out of here with a 7-5 win over a game North Country Falcons team. This is a great, great, great baseball game. It Probably is. The, you know, good, ba good baseball. Uh, you've been watching here on HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. Sponsors of Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Uh, Kurt on camera, Mike Baker on the play-by-play, -play, Lance Hall doing tag-along. Till next time, live every moment, love every day. Hope everybody has a great night.